So this video is going to be how to get custom songs that you've downloaded for free to work with Rocksmith 2014 Remastered, which as of the recording of this video is the latest release of Rocksmith. So the first thing you want to do is open your internet browser and go to customsforge.com. C-U-S-T-O-M-S-F-O-R-G-E dot com. And I'll put a link to that in the description. So when you first get to the page, um, you don't see this particular page. I've already clicked on the Use CDLC tab up on top, which you want to do. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to let you do that without first creating an account. Um, I know you need to, this CDLC search. In order for that to work, I know you need to be signed in with an account. Um, if you're prompted to, go ahead and sign up for an account. It's free. You do not get bombarded with a lot of spam. You do not get um, you know, newsletters or anything like that unless you sign up for it. They don't ask you to spend any money unless you choose to donate um, in order to keep the site alive, which would be a great thing if you could do that. Um, because if they can't afford to pay their hosting fees, then, you know, all the fun ends for everybody. There is, okay, so you've gotten to the page, customsforge.com, and you've clicked on Use CDLC, and it brings you to this page here. And the very first thing they tell you is that there is a song you need to own, which means you need to purchase it. And it, it's the only thing you need to purchase to make this work. It costs, as far as I know, like $2.99 or less. It's Cherub Rock. I hope I pronounced that right. And the reason that you have to buy this one song is that they use the code for that song that Rocksmith recognizes um, for every song that is made on this site. And they'll still show up properly in your list of songs, all the separate songs. But this is the ID that they use to make it work. Kind of complicated, don't really want to go into it. Just know if you purchase this one song, all the songs that you download off of this site should work properly. So they've on this page included a direct link to the Steam store to buy this one song. And like I said, it's super cheap. I think it's like $2.99 for songs right now. After you've gone off and purchased that song, and it automatically downloads it after you've purchased it and installs it to the correct folder, you're going to need to download the patch. And this little tiny text download link here, for the PC, this is where you download it, okay? And since I'm using a PC, that's the how, what this tutorial is gonna focus on. There's instructions here to do it for the Mac and tells you um, a link to go get instructions and I do it specifically for the Mac. Um, but we're going to focus on the PC. So click on the download link to download the patch. And that opens up in a new window. And then you click on this blue download button here. And that's going to download the file, and then you're going to get this warning that it may harm your computer. Now, if you're new to computers, this might freak you out, um, but don't let it. Um, anytime you download a database file like a DLL or an EXE executable, you know, executable, executable, sorry, file, it's going to give you a warning. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. It just means those are program or database files and you need to make sure that you know that it's coming from a safe source. And this particular file has been virus scanned and you know checked by thousands of users. Um, I've checked it myself, um, you know, prior to making this video, and it is safe. Uh, if you, after downloading it, want to download, or I'm sorry, run a virus scan on it, feel free to do so. Um, I am not going to do so for the sake of time and saving. Uh, length here. So where do you find that file? Well, in my case, I've turned on the trash and this PC and network and um, the computer name folder files. I've turned them on. You may not have. 
which means down here by the start button, there will either be this circular button or there'll be this type here to search button. Either way, if that type search button isn't there yet, go ahead and click on the circular button and it'll appear. If it is there, go and type in uh, downloads, right? And it's the one with this blue arrow in front of it. That's the folder you want to open. So see, I moved all my personal stuff to a, a my folder. And then here's the new folder that we downloaded. And if you right click on it and say scan with Windows Defender or whatever virus protection that you're personally running, um, you can scan it for viruses. We're not going to do so this time. We're going to skip it. Uh, I'm going to come down and I'm going to copy. I could say cut, but I'm going to say copy. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to minimize this and move it off to the side just so it's out of the way. And then the next thing I'm going to do is now I have to place this within my game folder. And again, how do I find that? Well, I could just double click on this PC, um, but you might not have that icon turned on. So you come down to the search, type here to search and type in this PC, double click to open. Let's move this out of the way so we can see both of our uh, windows that we're going to need. So the first thing you do is you click on your C drive or whatever folder you have your um, copy of Rocksmith installed on. In my case, it's the C folder. So it's C, Programs x86, Program Files x86. Program Files would be 64-bit programs. This is not a 64-bit program. 64 program. It's here under x86. Double click on that. Scroll down until you find Steam. Double click on it. And in the Steam folder, you click on Steam Apps. There's a Steam folder in there and a Steam Apps folder. Steam Apps is the one you want. Then you click on Common. Then you click on Rocksmith 2014. And right click, click paste, which I'm not going to do because I already have the patch there. And if you're prompted to overwrite a file, say yes. And this right there, that's the DLL that's patched. OK, so you've already gone to um, the Steam store, purchased Cherubrock, downloaded it, and it installed itself. And you've gone to the um, to customsforge.com, downloaded the patch, said keep, and then copied and pasted it into your uh, Rocksmith 2014 root folder. So you should be good to go. But you're going to want to also check to make sure that in this DLC folder, inside the Rocksmith 2014 folder, that your Cherub Rock song is in here. And yes, my Cherub Rock folder is in there. You might notice it's in there kind of twice. Um, when you purchase, uh, officially purchase a song from Rocksmith, it downloads and installs both the PC or underscore P dot parsec or the Mac or underscore M dot parsec version. It installs them both, even though you don't need them both. And heck, I'm going to go ahead and delete that or probably just reinstall it. But um, so Cherubrock is there. Your patch that you just copied over is there. Now, if you see this file already in there, I don't think you will, but who knows? It might might be a file that comes with the game if you, and it has to be patched and cracked. Um, if you see that already in there, don't assume that, you know, somehow your game magically came with the fi correct file. It didn't. You need to go download the, the patched version and copy it over here. Um, thousands of people have done this. It's safe. Nobody's, you know, said, oh, no, there's a virus. You know, that, that just hasn't happened. Um, after just, you know, quick early tip, after you've gone to customforge.com, 
clicked on CDLC search, which will probably take a little while to come up. Uh, there we go. And searched for the song that you want to download. And in this case, we're just going to do this Tom Petty Prince, whatever, while my guitar gently weeps. In this case, you can watch a music video, which will be linked to YouTube. Click download or go into the page and discuss stuff. I would just click download. I got an ad being blocked there, so I need to scroll down a little bit. Click download. Might take a second, taking a little longer than I'd like uh, for the purposes of this video. Okay, so now we have an, um, there's the M version, which would be Mac. Here's the PC version. They're often in that, you know, because alphabetically um, stored in that way. Click on that, because it's the PC version. Click download, direct download. Now, they're host, all hosted off-site on like Dropbox or um, Google OneDrive. So what the page looks like when you go to download it might be different. Um, but because each host free hosting service is different. But you just notice down in the bottom here, it's downloading. This is how it looks in Chrome. And you wait for that to finish downloading. Okay, so it's finished downloading. I minimize it. And again, if all this was closed, I would go down here, type in downloads, and click on downloads to open it. It's already open. You'll notice here's my Tom Petty prints um, while my guitar weeps. Over in my other window, you know, I would go to this PC and browse to C drive. Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Rocksmith 2014. And then go to this DLC folder and copy and move. Or just right click copy and then over here, right click paste. And now that song has now been added to Rocksmith. Um, you're going to want to open up Rocksmith, test it, and make sure the song appears. If it doesn't appear, first troubleshooting step, make sure you have Cherub Rock. Second troubleshooting step, make sure you've downloaded and copied the patch version of, or the patch into your Rocksmith root folder, which is C folder programs x86 steam steam apps common rocksmith 2014 and then double check and make sure you actually paste it into your dlc folder where it's supposed to be after that it should be working fine so that's how to get custom files to work in rocksmith 2014